soul visionaries and potential soul visionaries out there. I'm your host, Sherrod Cohen, and you are now rocking with the mobile version of the Soul Vision Powercast. You know, that place where we keep it unfiltered and raw. We talk about anything from porn to politics. We'll even talk about that shit you might have heard or even saw. Relationships. Relationships. Everybody out here is a relationship expert. A relationship expert. Everybody's out here telling you what to do, what not to do. <laughs> you got you got these two groups of people. You got these guys over here telling you that all black men ain't shit and this and that and the other. Then you got the other side over here telling you that all black women ain't shit and this and that and the other. You know, we're listening to both of the extreme sides of black folks talk shit about one another and this and that and the other. Remember I said the extreme sides. I think the average people that's in the middle don't fit any of the narrative that these two are talking about. You know, not all women are gold digging hoes. Not all men are broke bum ass abusive niggas, you know, as, as they want to say. You know. And then if you keep running into the same old person, whether you're a male or female, if you keep running into the same kind of people, you know what I mean? Evidently, it must, this must be you. It's, it's you. It, it ain't them. It's you. You keep attracting the same motherfuckers. You get people saying, I need to move from Detroit, Atlanta, Chicago, or wherever it is. And it's so funny that the women and the people that saying they got to move here and there to find somebody new and this and that and the other... All y'all are saying the same shit about the same kind of people. So obviously you all must be the same as each other to keep attracting the same motherfuckers that's in different locations. The problem ain't the people with you. A different location is not going to do anything but attract a same motherfucker in a different location to your same ass. <laughs> that's just it. This you. You need to change who you are. You know, you're reaching out for specific types of people. Man, look in the mirror. Do you even qualify for those people you are asking for or you're demanding somebody be in order to fuck with you? Do you even qualify? Okay, let's take away the look side. Let's say that you fine as wine, consider the dime. Or you one of them buff brothers just walking around here, got money and this and that and the other. Do you still qualify for the person you're demanding based on your spirituality, your mentality. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, some of y'all might look good on the outside, but you're raggedy than the motherfucker on the inside. You know, y'all got all triggered with Kevin Samuels and calling y'all average and this and that and the other. But some of you motherfuckers, you gotta realize, you know, when all y'all start to look alike. Starting to wear the same thing, same weave, same lashes, same arch type eyebrows, same fake little highlights on your nose with the white paint or whatever the fuck. Y'all starting to all look the same. Average is just basically typical. That's it. It's not a bad thing. It's not to say that you're not attractive. It's just that y'all look alike. And then a lot of you brothers out there, y'all look alike. Y'all wearing your little skinny jeans is flooding, want to show your rusty ass ankles and shit. You know, with the little suits on and y'all got the big beards and, you know, licking your lips and cutting the little, little lines and shit. In you. I mean, y'all y'all looking like fucking clones of one another, man. I mean, y'all might deserve each other. It's just the point is, you all have to become a better version of you if you want to attract something different. That's all. Quit demanding something that you're not qualified for. 